On March 1st, the Cultural Heritage Administration began the process of removing casts off of Marado, a small island off the southern coast of Jeju, due to concerns of casts attacking and killing endangered wildlife. Currently, it's estimated that about 60 to 70 straight cats live on Marado, which is home to about 90 people in total. So how did so many cats end up on this remote island in the first place? About 10 years ago, cats were brought to Marado by people to get rid of rats. And once the cats were released on the island, the rat problem went away, but the cat population was growing too fast. So authorities decided to implement a TNR plan of capturing and neutering feral cats. Although this meant that the cats can no longer reproduce, they still had their hunting instincts as natural predators, leading to the ultimate problem of cats attacking endangered wildlife on the island, including the crested murrelet. The crested murrelet is a small seabird that lives on remote islands like Marado. And with a declining population of just 5 to 6,000 around the world, this rare species has been a natural monument of South Korea. But in 2015, a report from BirdLife International said it's believed that cats on Marado killed at least 30 crested murrelets per year. And in 2020, another report from the Korean Journal of Environment and Ecology said domestic cats released on Marado can be invasive predators that often threaten endemic species and cause loss of biodiversity or even local extinction on the island. Although the reports did mention that the mortality of the birds may not be caused by cats alone, considering the presence of other potential predators on the island, the CHA and the Jeju government have decided to remove the cats from the island. And the island residents eventually agreed. This week, authorities captured some 40 straight cats from Marado and began transporting them to Jeju Island on Friday. Once the cats arrive in Jeju, they will get their health examined, and the healthy ones will stay at local animal protection center. Meanwhile, there has been a lot of criticism surrounding this mass capture operation, especially since cats are known to be highly territorial. And forcing these animals out of their homes and relocating them to a new environment can be very stressful and even dangerous. Some people have also pointed out the selfishness of human beings as the cats were unintentionally placed on the island in the first place to catch rats. And now they're being forced to leave due to human interference.